Hey, welcome back to Snap Bolt Games. My name is Max, and I, I got a brew today. I'm going to be playing some food in Popper. And uh, this deck is crazy. I'll get into this deck, what this is. This is a brand new brew. It is not tuned yet, but we're going deep. We're going real deep with this one. Um, but let me just say my channel is youtube.com slash snapbolt. Go check it out. There's a link down in the description below. Uh, there's a link to subscribe and below that. There's a link to the channel. And just throw a like on this video. If you subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out. So I'd appreciate that. But, okay, let me go over this deck. What is this? So this is a food deck. Cauldron Familiar. It was printed at Uncommon, but it was downshifted. But there's not really a great cat deck. And I have wanted to play it. Um, another card I've wanted to play is Fierce Witch Stalker. It's a 4 mana 4-4 four, four trample. And when it enters the battlefield, you make a food. And uh, pretty funny, right? But that's basically the deck. But then what else are we doing? What every, What's all these other cards? Why do we have these like weird rampant growth effects in 3 Visit and Nature's Lore? So 3 Visits is 2 mana, search your library for a forest, put it onto the battlefield, not tapped, just put it onto the battlefield, and then shuffle your library. So with Nature's Lore, it is the exact same thing, just a different name. So we're playing 6 of these effects. And with those, we can either get a basic forest, we can get a Woodland Chasm because it's a forest. We can get a Highland Forest, but more importantly, we can get Gingerbread Cabin. This is what like actually makes the deck tick. This is, this is the card in the deck. So this is a forest land, and it enters tapped unless you control three or more other forests. And then when it enters the battlefield untapped, it, oh yeah, when it enters untapped, you create a food. So if you have three forests and you play a Gingerbread Cabin, you get a food. So... You can search out Gingerbread Cabin with these cards or fix your mana with Woodland Cabin. And every land in our deck is a forest except for one Rot Farm, which can also bounce Gingerbread Cabin. Okay, so we're searching for, for lands, fixing our mana, or getting Gingerbread Cabins. And then we can also return Gingerbread Cabin to our hand with Corian Ranger and just keep playing it every turn, just gain three life a turn. Um, and then we're making a bunch of food and we can bring Cat back. Um, but... What's our sack outlet? I'm playing Lampad. Uh, it's possible I should be playing Blood Throne Vampire, the two mana one one, because it's free to sacrifice a creature. But I felt like that's just going to get blocked a lot of times. It's a two two. It's just like a one one, so it dies to more stuff. This is a two mana one three, and I don't even need to attack with this to win. And this card is actually better than it looks. Like on a lot of boards, they're like, shoot, I have to make some bad blocks, otherwise, like they just sack their board and drain me for five because we're actually playing 28 creatures. Um, so basically, we're trying to make a bunch of food with mostly Gingerbread Cabin, finding it with Nature's Lore, Witch Stalker, and just making food like that. And then we have like a cat and a sack package. Then otherwise, we're just playing good green cards, mostly cards that draw cards. Visionary, Packmate, Dino for value, Thorn of the Black Rose, because it's a good card and we have so many creatures that we can reliably protect the monarch or take it back um and bonders ornament because this card's kind of busted fixes our mana ramps us draws cards need i say more and then just a couple removal spells i want i wanted the deck to be mostly creatures and i didn't want to play too much removal um and we're playing two highland forests again we can find them with all these rampant growth effects we have bonders ornament and i'm just playing a bunch of red cards in the sideboard I think Cannonade is kind of too good to leave at home. Um, so playing a bunch of Cannonades, getting a bunch of Pyroblast for the blue matchups, two Garula Shamans, so a bunch of good red sideboard cards. We could build the deck some other way, but I think specifically Cannonade is so strong that uh, I think we want it. Could be wrong, but I think we want it. Go up to four Chainers Edicts because I don't want to lose to Mono White. And for the same reason, I'm actually just playing two Reverent Silence. Four mana sorcery, destroy all enchantments. But if you control a forest, you can have them gain six and just blow up all enchantments for zero mana. So this card is actually pretty sweet because we're always going to control a forest. So it's just for free, destroy all enchantments. They gain six, which doesn't really matter for us. So that's pretty cool. And a couple spell bombs for cycle storm or whatever else we want. But yeah, I'm going deep with this deck. I don't know how great it is. Um, I haven't really tested it much at all. I've played a couple of games in tournament practice just to find some stuff out about the deck. Um, changed a couple cards since then. Um, 
You could play Minvuli Acid Moss, but it actually doesn't work with Gingerbread Cabin because Minvuli Acid Moss puts the land on, into play tapped. Um, another option is it's kind of tough to build like this rampy style deck with these rampant growths and then have this cat and sack package in the deck. But you could build it just like no Ranger, no Cauldron Familiar, no Lampad, no Witch Stalker, but then still build the mana base like all forest gingerbread cabins and then play like a Jun style deck with gingerbread cabin just to be able to like turn your rampant growths into life in the late game seems pretty good. Or just like you're playing out lands and you're getting value from your lands because the, the, the food token is actually pretty decent. Like I think you're going to be surprised here. I think... Oh, I don't want to cut a gingerbread cabin. That's that's the main card in the deck. So I also need a name for this deck. So if you have a name that you're thinking of that's a good name, let me know. Could be gingerbread cabin food. Could just be food. Could be black green food, Golgari food, or whatever else you think of. Let me know. But I'm pretty excited to get into it. Again, we could build a deck just all for us. We could play boarding parties, dinos, and just play like a classic Jun deck, play more removal, and not play the cat package. But uh, I'm excited to try it like this. I think it'll be fun, and let, let's go. I'll see you in round one. All right, welcome to round one with food. We're against Mayan. And I can't keep this one lander, I don't think. I need one more land. Mulligan. All right. This hand's not perfect, but I can keep it. Hmm. I guess I can just put back a forest. I don't want to keep four lands. So I do kind of want to draw one more land, but I think everything else is decent. I could put back land pad, keep all the lands. Maybe that's the line. I don't need this yet. All right, I'm going to keep all my lands. Then I can guarantee uh, just play out all my other forests and then play gingerbread cabin to make sure to get my food and go from there. Right, no fairy on one. Um, I think I'll just... Could just play land in case they play like a two drop I want to cast down, but I think I'll just get my tap land in, into play. Obviously, drawing a land's not great. Are we just up against blue red fey? Yeah, probably. No auger. Interesting. All right, I think I'm just going to jam land of war visionary here. Our food tokens are actually just pretty decent life in this matchup. Or spike. Uh, was not expecting that. All right, well, I can just play two, two gingerbread cabins the next turn, basically, and that's all I can do. Okay. Don't think I want to run ornament out and get it countered. What I could do is I could nature's lore first. See if they counter it. I'm going to get Cabin here. And I could play a Bonder Dornament here. I mean, is it getting better? Not really sure. I think I'm supposed to just jam. Hope it resolves. Get some more food. You can see, I mean, it's pretty powerful. Our draw is like bad. We got our Lanoir Visionary countered. Wow, it resolved. And yeah, now we can start drawing cards. Nice. I cannot believe Ornament resolved. Okay, well they can get ninja going, but I can cast down the ninja potentially. I don't think they have a counter spell where they would have countered the bonders ornament 100%. Alright, definitely going to try to cast down this. We need to draw some creatures, but our deck is all creatures. Four, five, six, we can even cast dino already. Speaking of, I think I'm supposed to cast it. That is, that is sweet, I can't believe this bonders resolve still. Kind of in shock. I think this is better. Nature's lore. Just get another cabin. Don't need red mana yet. And if we do find cat at some point, it's going to be good. All right, they could go land, scred the dino, and then attack and draw a card, which would be bad. Looks like that's maybe what hap what's happening. Oh, they're going to bolt the dino. Well. I'm fine with this. Still have triple food. We can start drawing cards with this. Looking good. They have a spell stutter. Okay. Now they can actually counter this, which kind of sucks. But cat is actually reasonable. 
They went bottom top and they didn't sack Evolving Wilds first. Interesting. All right, now we're getting a little flooded on these rampant growth effects. Just get our last cabin. Just want to keep stacking up food, basically. I could draw a card right now, but I don't think I need to. I mean, the only thing I would really play is Cat. I would not play a Llanowar. I guess I could play another three visits or Rampant Growth if I draw that, or a land. I mean, I don't need to leave up like life gain for my food, so I guess I'll just draw. Yep, okay. I think I'll just get another Woodland here. Okay, they're countering that. They just want to get that out of their hand, I guess. Maybe they're going to ninja this back. Kind of wish that I didn't even play that. Because they just got to stealth better it. They don't have a ninja. Okay. I have 12 life on the table. Oh, Fleet Admiral, that's bad. They have two mana available and Chainer's Edict. Okay. That's good. I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So I can just go for Edict, Flashback Edict right now. I think I like just playing Cast Down to start. Cast Down this, it saves the most life. I guess I can start with Edict and see if they counter that. They're just going to sack like a Fairy Seer or something. Yeah, I can go Edict you and then cast down and then draw a card with Bondage Ornament. I think that's what I'm doing. Just pass to my second main, just maybe they'll have six. And I guess I'm supposed to draw right now. Could draw land. Another three visits, doesn't really do anything. But this is exactly why we have bonders, just to be able to keep drawing when we kind of run out of gas. We have a lot of creatures that cycle, so. Four Lenoir Visionary, four Pac-Mate. Okay, there's another Dino, perfect. Um, four, five, six, I guess I can go three visits first. Is there any reason to? I guess not. I could hit like a draw spell or something and another spell that I actually want to cast. Can I hit like a anything that draws a card or at least a 4-4 trample? Another bonders would be fine. I don't want to hit another... I only have one nature's lore left in the deck. Okay, at least this draws a card. Counterspell on the Visionary. Okay, they're going to spread the Dino. I will play this just to thin. I also have a, a Chainer's Edict in the yard. Yep, they have the Scred. They don't have a Ninja yet. All right, next turn, am I going Flashback Edict? Probably. I don't want them to be able to unlock a ninja if they find it or they found it already. All right, they, they can't counter the edict yet, but they can just flash in spells better and then sack the spell better. So they can do that. Ooh, they probably should they should be sacking Evolving Wild before playing these cantrips. Because now they went to bottom, but now they have to fetch. Alright, there's cat. So that represents like infinite blocks, basically. I think I'm supposed to just go Chainer's Edict first. Four, five, six, seven. So let's just Edict them. It's possible I should have more removal in the main deck. And they're just flashing spells that are in they're going to sack that. But then I get to go Cat. And that Cat represents like a ton of blocks here. So this should be able to stop their Ninja. They can't really counter this or kill it, because I just get to bring it back four times. 
with all my food. So it's kind of sick. <laughs> Any deck that has to like attack on the ground, Cat is going to be so good against with this deck. All right, they have the Monarch as well. So I can also block and then flash in a Cat end of turn to threaten to take the Monarchy. See, they went bottom bottom on the Scry, but now they just fetched. So they shuffled those cards back into their deck. All right, looks like they do, they might just be on, okay, they played a bunch of cantrips. So that's something. It's possible you could just play this deck with cat and with no sack outlet or just like two lamp ad, because you really don't need that many sack outlets. You just want to find one late if you have like a ton of food. All right, let that resolve. Brainstorm. All right, they're gonna draw a card and then I'm gonna put Cat into play here. Creature? Ornament. All right, I think I'll just start by drawing a card. Land. Brainstorm looking for counterspell, maybe? I mean, I have a lot of ways to win. I have one dino. I have four, four, four tramples still left in the deck. Okay, they counter that. Can't attack because of Augur. They do have the Monarchy, and they've had it for a while, so it's kind of tough to beat. I also have two ways to just take the Monarchy from them, and they don't have Flyers in play yet. Let's see if they attack with both or just Ninja. I'm obviously just blocking Ninja no matter what here. I have a couple more blocks with this cap. Let's just pop these out so I can actually see what's happening. Drain for one, untap. There's a pack mate, nice. Let's see if they counter it. They do. Let's just draw. I wonder if they have an ornament as well. Okay, there's a witch stalker. <laughs> Ass. I mean, Wish Doctor just being a 4 4 trample and representing another buyback from Cat is decent. I don't want to see another ninja here. That would be annoying. Which they could certainly have. All right, they don't. That's good. I obviously also don't want to see another counter on my Witch Stalker, but they only have. Two counter spells left. And they can't spell stutter a lot of my four drops, so feeling decent here. Another cat. Alright, let's see. Four, five, four, seven, ten mana. So I am gonna be able to play both of these and still draw a card. Guess I just start with cat. I mean, yeah, them countering that doesn't really do that much. I think I will draw a card with Ornament, because if I draw a Ranger, I can bounce Gingerbread Cabin and replay it, assuming it resolves. Can't attack yet, can't play that yet, but we're kind of grinding him out here. Now they can't attack with Ninja. Fairy Seer, okay. You can also start gaining life with this food at some point. Wow, what? There's no way. This must just be an older version of the deck because you're definitely supposed to have Fjord. I mean, this art is sick. I actually have not ever seen this art. I actually really like it. So sick with the crystals, blue and like purple or red crystals. But 
Yeah, it should uh, definitely be Fjord for Scred. There's no excuse for that, I don't think. The gain one is not relevant compared to being a, a, a snow wind. Because like if you draw this and then you need to like on turn three scred for three, you can't. So yeah. I do not have any removal left in the deck, but they're going to have to do something about this. And I mean, my cats are decent here. All right, there's Highland Forest. I think I just start by attacking and see what they do. They don't really want me to take the Monarch here. This thing has Trample, so I do take the Monarch. I guess they could bolt it. But yeah, I get to draw a card off Monarch. Nice. Let's just lead Visionary. I think that's better than drawing a card with Ornament. Oh wow, they can actually counter that. That's an, that's annoying for me. Lampad. I feel like I'm supposed to play it. I only have one mana available, but it's actually decent here with this food. Especially if I draw a ranger. I haven't drawn a ranger yet. Another thing of note is I'm playing three ranger, not four, just because I don't want to get flooded on rangers um, in the early game. When I'm drawing a bunch of cards like this, I want to be able to find them, but I don't necessarily want them like multiple rangers at the beginning. All right, they bolt my witch stalker. Another lamp pad, okay. So they gave me the Monarch for one turn, but they're going to have to attack to take it. Yeah, they should attack like that. I mean, they could mill out from the Monarch as well. We could just start potentially just gaining life with our food and our lamp head and our cats. So like, we can gain a bunch of life here. All right, there's an ornament. I just play that then I have four five six seven eight then I could draw two cards potentially I'm not under that much pressure yet I think I just start with ornament guess I'll draw a card I think I won't play lamp ad here I'll just pass and then I'll draw another card with ornament Brainstorm. Yeah, I mean, they have to kill me without... They don't have... They have 18 cards left in library. And they don't have the ability to deal, like, big chunks of damage. So if I'm able to make more food, might be good. They have one spell slitter sprite left in their deck. If they ninja back a spell slitter, that's going to be bad. I am also getting hit for three, which is kind of a lot. I have way more cards left in library though. Another cat and a witch stalker. Okay, I'll just leave cat. See if they counter it. I'm assuming they will not. They have one counter spell, or no, they have zero counter spell left in their deck. One, two, three, four. And they have one spell stutter sprite left in their deck. We also have a dino left. Yeah, this is looking sweet. Okay, that's the last spell starter. They have 15 cards left. Let's just go lamp pad. I don't even think I want to need to attack and take the Monarch. I mean, I can't even take it, I guess. They can just block my cats. What am I talking about? All right, I'll just pass. So... A braid that bonders ornament. I can draw a card with it right now. I don't know if I need to. I'll just let that resolve. I guess I could have to play around like second a braid, because now if I go draw and they abrade this, 
It's actually kind of annoying. Wow, they're attacking with everything. Okay, I mean, I'm taking. I'm pretty safe here. I can even attack back with everything. I might like, be able to have lethal soon. Fleet Admiral, take the Monarch. Oh no, they already have the Monarch. Um, results. I'm at seven. Gonna draw a card. They have 13 cards left in library and a bunch of flyers. All right, there's finally a ranger, and I think it is 100% going to resolve. So, don't think I want to sack cat. I might want to actually just start sacking my food for three life, so I think I'm just going to untap. Go play ranger. Let's use it. Replay cabin. Draw. No second to breathe. That's good. So let's say if I attack with triple cat, I get in for one damage. They eat two cats. I take the monarch. I sack the bo both cats they block. And then I can bring the cats back and gain more life that way. Might be a little bit greedy. I do gain a life for each one that I sack with this too. I think it's actually worth it. I might be able to just drain them out. I haven't even calculated it. I think I just attack with all my cats. This is actually pretty sick here. <laughs> okay, so they block like that and I go pay one. Sack this, you lose one. Pay one, sack this, you lose one, I gain one. They go to 11, I take the Monarch. I've already played a land this turn because I played Cabin. And then I can go I'm at nine. Let's say if I go bring back Cat, put them to 10. Can't quite kill them yet. Scred the lamp pad right now. That's interesting. I think I just have to let this resolve. Yeah, I'll just let it resolve. I kind of want to keep these food, like I said, to maybe potentially gain three life. Do I bring back one more cat? To block. I think I will, but I guess I can wait on that now that my lamp pad died. So I think I'll just pass. Again, I have no more removal. Witch Stalker is decent. They still have 12 cards. They're just attacking with their Flyers and their Fleet Admiral. Okay. They usually only play two Bolt, and they've played both of those already. Oh. This can't be blocked because they have the Monarch. I have the Monarch. Maybe they let me take... I mean, I guess they did let me take that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I would go to two. So I can't block. So I can bring back Cat or I can just crack food. I think I'm supposed to crack food, actually. Stay I think that leaves me a little bit safer. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to actually take the Monarch here. What a crazy first game. Fairy Seer, sure. Definitely bringing in Cannonade in this matchup. So they draw a card down to 11 cards. It's going to be tough here. Am I supposed to bring back Cat? I think I'm just going to crack food for three life. So I can use Ranger now. I can't play multiple lands a turn, but I can just make sure I can at least play a Gingerbread Cabin every turn for the rest of the game. 
another ranger. Okay, that doesn't actually combo. So maybe I should even just have like only two ranger in the deck. I'm not sure. Just go witch stalker. Play cabin. Get us another food. They have 11 cards left. I guess I just draw a card. Thorn. Again, I don't want to take the Monarch, I don't think, right here, because then this is unblockable. It's kind of annoying. Just bounce a Gingerbread Cabin. Play another Ranger, and I don't think I'm going to bounce another one right now. I can bounce as many as I want. I can only play one per turn here, so... Yeah, now I just need to not take the Monarch and just try to gain three life every turn or more because I have one Fierce Witch Stalker left as well. All right, if they draw a card with this Augur, then that's one card left. Less in the library. Scred. Okay, that's not good. They can kill this. They're choosing not to. This is not actually unblockable here. Yeah. I think I'm supposed to crack, draw, or not draw, gain, and then I have to just take damage. Ninja. They ninja the spell stutter sprite, okay. They probably choose to not draw. Oh, they choose to draw, okay. I mean, I am in trouble here, that's for sure. And Scred, a Corian Ranger. Should I bounce another land? I don't think so. I have another one here. So they go down to seven cards in library. It's going to be close. And Scred that one. All right, now I'm actually supposed to do it. It's funny, they have to like prioritize killing Ranger. That's kind of cool. I also have Cat. I'm not sure how relevant that is. I cannot play Thorn on this board. So let's just go draw. Lamp pad. Okay, does that do anything? It does something. I don't think I can kill them. Let's see. What if I attack with... I have three, four, five, six, seven mana, not eight mana. I can attack with Witch Stalker. Then they just have better attacks back. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get out of this. I'm just going to play this pass. Oh, of course they have spells that are. I knew about that, Dan. Probably shouldn't have played the Lamp Pad. I think I'm dead anyway. Maybe they mess up and draw too many cards, like off their ninjas or something. What a crazy game here. Four, five, six damage. I think I'm supposed to just gain life with both of these right now. Definitely in trouble here. They're not attacking with ninjas. Makes sense, actually. I have one more cabin. Okay, there's another ninja. Do they draw? They do. I don't think they should be drawing. Do they have Lightning Bolt left in their deck? Maybe. Can they kill me? Probably as well. What if I draw another Witch Stalker here? Okay, Packmate. So we're gonna cabin 100%. I need mana to crack the food as well. Maybe another lamp pad could save me. Cat, I'm not sure if that does it. I only have one food here and I can't make any more food right now. Guess I have to just draw. I think I'm dead, right? Bonders. Doesn't actually do anything. I can only go up to seven life here. And then I think I die in the air. 
One, two, three, four, five. Actually, no, maybe not. They have six cards in hand and three in library. Might actually not be dead. They have two cards left. They draw a card here. But then they're going to kill me on the next turn. Gain three. This is close. Behind on time as well. I mean, I haven't really played this deck at all, and it's pretty complex. So they go to one card in library. Thorn. Can't even gain any more life. They're going to go down to zero cards in library and kill me. That's brutal. Now Lampad, I don't think he even does it. Oh, did I play Forest? Damn, I could have... Uh, no, even if I drew Quarian Ranger, it doesn't, doesn't do it because I don't gain enough life. I could have not attacked, but I don't think it matters. I think I, I think I lose. Good game, good game. That was pretty crazy. Just... I wasn't quite able to either gain enough life or stabilize. We both drew like pretty much the entire deck. I needed more creatures earlier on in the game. Like more witch stalkers. And then I just die. I had drawn a Witch Stalker that turn, would it have been enough? I don't think so. Damn, so close. They're not, they don't, I don't know if they know that they can say no to that ninja. Okay. Gonna have to play a little bit faster in the next two games, but the games probably won't go that crazy long either. I don't think I need Chainer's Edict. Maybe I don't even need Cast Down. Just rely on Cannonade and Pyroblast. I think Thorn is actually not great. I can cut some Rampant Growths and maybe Aquarian Ranger as well. Just keep all my value. Even though I have like Visionaries and Cats, I think Cannonade is still really good. We also didn't see any, um, oh, maybe cutting nature's lore is a bit greedy with all these red cards. Maybe I'm supposed to have these rampant growth effects. Could cut like two visionaries. They kind of bounce off the augers and they die to candidate anyway. Yeah, we didn't see any um, frantic inventories from them. Yeah, this looks good. Uh, can't keep this. I guess I have to keep this. It's not very good, though. I think I'll just put back a forest. Gonna try to catch up on time here. I definitely took my time in that first game, which I think was a good play. I'll just Nature's Lore for a Black Source, I think. Because I want to cast this on two, like, pretty much no matter what. Unlocks my four drops. Orion Ranger, huh? Still think I'm supposed to get a black source. Can get cabin later. I think I'm not even supposed to play. Okay, there's spell thundering that. Okay. If they didn't counter the cat, I probably wouldn't have even played the Corian Ranger into spell thunder. Oh, no ninja, please. Could have done nothing that turn. But I didn't think they were going to counter cat. Right, I'm probably going to cast down this right now. So we're not really functioning this draw. Might be able to get out of it. We have five mana. So with another land in Corian, I could cast this in two turns. 
Gingerbread cabin would be good. They're just passing. Okay. Lamp pad. I think I'll attack. Just play a lamp pad. Maybe it should be less than four of these, but I mean, card can be good. I mean, this matchup's just going to be rough just because that deck is so good. And we're playing food. <laughs> Brainstorm, okay. Yeah, drawing gingerbread cabins not even that bad. Auger. Swirling sandstorm, okay. Good to know. Packmate, okay, let's just cast it. I think I'm supposed to leave up red to like rep Pyroblast. They have an actual counter spell. I think they have to pull the trigger. They just have Spell Slitter Sprite. Obviously doesn't counter this. Spell Slitter doesn't counter like a lot of our stuff. I guess I could have used Quarion just to replay a land, but I don't think it's that relevant because I can't play any spells anyway. I guess I could have double land pad activation up, so that was wrong, but Whatever. It's probably not going to affect the outcome of the game, most likely. Alright, there's Brainstorm Shuffle. That's good. My guess is they still have Spell Sitter Sprite. Another Dino is not good. If we just naturally had drawn a Gingerbread we would be in much better shape here because I could be playing it every turn. I mean, at that point, they probably would kill Quarian Ranger, right? All right, I'm fine with that. This Dino will probably get countered if we eventually do cast it. Oh, man, this is not what I like to see. Feeling pretty dead here. Uh, that, I probably shouldn't have even played it because we know they have Sandstorm. Could have used Quarian, but I just didn't want to take the time, actually. Yeah, this is brutal. I just shouldn't have played second lamp pad here. I knew about Sandstorm. So they have a 2-2, two -two, Flying Undying. They need to draw two lands to start casting these. There's one. Can I draw a cabin, please? Okay, they have another ninja, perhaps. It's a hit for three. Definitely do need to play fast, so I'm going to be F6ing a lot, even if it's not like ideal. Yeah, and I could have had a land pad to block this if I didn't commit a second one, so definitely punted, but gonna be rough here anyway we're not drawing that well and that deck is like I said really good I'll try to block here if I can need to draw any untapped land so no cemetery no second highland forest or Golgari rot farm any other land I can cast dinos they're probably gonna have multiple counters though so it's gonna be rough But if these dinos hit like pack mates or the four fours, okay, it's a land. No cabins. Yeah, I guess it sucks when you have no black source and you had I had to cabin for a uh, black source. Or I had to nature's lore for a black source rather than a cabin, I should say. Just gonna get scredded here. Yep. Run out the spell stutter. Yep. I'm getting hit for five. I can play another dino, but even if I draw like Pyroblast, it's still going to be rough. Another ninja? Yeah. It's just tough to compete with Blue Red Fae. Deck is just too good, even if it's even if it is a slightly older version. Ooh. 
looks like we're going down. I didn't necessarily expect to do well with this deck, especially it's a new brew, but um, not ideal to get paired against Blue Red Fae in round one. I don't think this is going to do it. They have like so many outs here. They probably just have another Scred. Maybe I'm just dead on board to like a Lightning Bolt here. Looks like that's the case. And if we had had a Pyroblast there, might have been able to stabilize, but yeah, just no cabins. GG's. 0-1 here. That first game was pretty incredible, though. That was a good game. That was fun. And I'll see you in round two. All right, round two. Looks like we're probably against Mono Green Aggro because Sacred Devil is always on Mono G, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong. Should be a decent matchup for us, I think. I think I keep this. Just go Chasm Go. Yep. The Mono Green Master over there. Um, I think I'm actually just foretelling Packmate here. Maybe I should just play Lampad. I think doing this is actually better. I don't need Lampad yet. And then this way I can get my pack back packmate down next turn. Are they gonna burning tree here? I can just go like packmate plus cat next turn, which is pretty decent. Alright, ledge walker. Alright, cabin's also actually pretty good. This is like the matchup where just cabining a bunch seems like pretty great, honestly. So let's just go pack me, get a 3-3 down, and then play cat. Wow, that's actually really good as well. Sacred Devil is the mono green master. Uh, 12 trophies already. They always like trophy race. They're behind right now, but they've been the trophy leader in uh, previous seasons. Ooh. I mean, I can edict to this and just leave them with a 3-3. That's got to be the play, right? And that's the only thing I can do this turn, though. So, let's see. I can go cabin. Don't want them to be able to play another creature, and then I'm not able to kill this hexproof unblockable creature. So, I think I need to edict right now. It sucks that it's the only thing I can do this turn, but I think it's worth I guess I could have not attacked with cat, but I think that's it's fine to actually attack with cat there. All right, let's pass. Might just crack food for life here. Food for life. If they want to attack. I think that's okay. Kind of like winning this race, right? Also, I have just like a bunch of these. I just want to get in for damage while I can. All right, they could have a hunger of the Howl pack. Skargan, it's not ideal. Am I supposed to crack food? Maybe not. Maybe just not. Dino. I think I just go Lanawar Visionary. Do I attack with Pac-Mate? Nature's Lore. Okay, that's actually pretty decent as well. If I attack with Pac-Mate, I'm just trading for a 2-2. I think I just pass here. I think I can win the long game. Savage swipe my Pac-Mate. Well, that's annoying. And Rancor. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm just crushed here. They're just sending in. Hmm. I can double block, trade for elephant, or I can go chump elephant, trade for nest invader. I think I'm supposed to just trade for elephant, get it off the table. And then probably just bring back cat here. I'm going to eight. Oh, they have a vine. Oh, they have a hunger. All right. My hunger here for damage. I, I go to three? Jesus. And River Boa. I can't block this, so I need to draw um, exactly cast down here. They have zero cards left. Jeez. 
That deck does it sometimes. Oh, <laughs> nice. So now I can wait for them to attack. They could draw like a Vines, but that was such a good draw. That was incredible. So I go Nature's Lore for Cabin. Get a food. I'm just going to pass the turn and kill this on attacks. That way I can um, save more damage. They won't be able to recast Rancor. Savage swipe my cat. Okay, I can bring back cat and block River Boa. Might have to bring in the Edicts, even though they're not like perfect in this matchup. Block here and then cast down here. At five. My cat dies. I go to three. I can play a thorn. And they replay Rancor. So they have a four power thing. I have one, two, three, four, five, six mana, but I can only cast one spell. So even if I thorn here, I die. So I think I, I think I'm dead. Damn. Almost got out of that, got out of that by drawing the cast down, but not quite. One turn off playing this dino. Close. But we just die here. May oh they just regenerate? Sure. So close, so close. Maybe the edicts aren't good actually, because I just rely on the cannonades. They're also not really gonna be expecting that here. Just side like that. Stick to my game plan. I think this should be a pretty good matchup for us. All right, let's go. They can come out of the gate swinging, but if they don't... All right, can't keep this. Uh, I think I have to keep this. It's not very good, but... I'll keep the Highland Forest. Just foretell a pack made on two. I'm not in a rush to Ranger here. Also not in a rush to three visits because I want to make sure to get a cabin and get a food out of it. Also three visits, the fact that it does get a land untapped is relevant. Because like next turn I can go land, three visits, get a cabin, play a pack mate. Which is actually decent. Alright, four cards in hand. Witch Stalker is actually good. Alright, so let's go land. To make sure to have three forests, three three visits, cabin. I think that's better than getting a black source because this is untapped. And I get the three life. I go pack mate, pass. Again, my list is pretty untested. I mean, yeah, I'm getting crushed here. What can you do? Can I can always draw a uh, cannonade. That's what I can do. I go to 12. There's another cabin. Now do I go Witch Stalker plus Quarian? Or do I go Packmate plus Quarian? I think I go Witch Stalker. Just load up on foods and I get a 4-4. Four four. Is that relevant? Maybe. can also start playing cabins every turn now with Quarian Ranger potentially. Might just not have enough time though. Gonna try to block Skargon if they attack with it. Wonder if I should block Quarian Ranger here too. I think I should. Are they gonna go like Vines? Yeah. Okay, so they kill my 4-4. I think I'm gonna go Quarian 
balance of gingerbread here. Do they have another two drop they can play? Maybe. Ledge Walker, not ideal. Cannonade? No. Can't even cast that yet. I mean, I, I do have an ornament. So I'm just going to pack mate. I guess I shouldn't have played a land quite yet because I could have played that. Yeah, that was the mistake. Punished. I realized it just a second too late. Right now I can't block that because I don't have a four power thing. I'm at eight, taking five. It's going to be rough. Vault Scourge. I'm at three. I can gain six. I can gain six and only six because I played the wrong land. I think I'm dead because they can just attack with all, right? Looks like food's just not quite going to cut it. Looks like food is not on the menu. I, I also punted there because I could have gained nine, but I would have had to draw Cannonade. GG's. Just not quite able to stabilize. Opponent's draws were just a little too streamlined, and our draws were not great. We have not won a game yet, but felt like we've been in these games, just not quite gotten there. I think the deck is actually reasonable. I, like I said, I've played just like a, one or two practice games with the deck, practice matches. And yeah, my opponents probably weren't as strong as like Sacred Devil, but um, deck was performing. You saw it in game one, like they had zero cards left in library in game one. Like we could have won that game if things broke differently. Maybe I need to play a little bit tighter, but I'll see you in round three. All right, welcome to round three. We've had a lot of these type of hands. We're against Terminus Zero. Hmm, this hand's also not very good. I think this is actually a mulligan as well. We have tap land, tap land, and just like nothing really to do. So I just have to go to five. All right, I'll keep this. I think I'm putting back Cat and Dino. Just plan on playing these tap lands out. Let's see what we're up against in the O2 bracket. Elves, okay. Lose game one and draw some cannonades in games two and three. Could be defenders as well. Defenders is actually, I was just thinking it, and I was like, defenders is probably our worst matchup. Um, I could go rot farm, but I mean, does getting cabin online even really do anything? Probably not. I think I'm just supposed to rot farm actually. I can still ornament next turn. Then I can just start cabining like much later. Oh, they drew a land. It's brutal. Nomadic elf, sure. Their draw is not insane, but it's gonna be enough to kill us here. I think we're just not doing anything. At least this will be quick. Pass. They're probably just gonna think we're on Jund. They get to sideboard in hate for our uh, removal. I probably shouldn't even have played that and just, uh, whatever. I don't think it matters. That 10. Yeah, all right, we're, we're just dead. We're dead on board. If I just play a 4-4, it's not gonna be enough. Might also, yeah, I think I might just need to build it, like, honestly, without the cat package. I think it, it's reasonable, but it's probably better just with, like, dinos, boarding parties, don't play Witch Stalker. Um, don't play Lampad. Don't play this. Don't even play Corian Ranger. And then just building your deck with like Forests, Woodland Chasms, Highland Forests, and just play like a bunch of the good green cards. Then you could even play like Munvuli Acid Moss. Um, you could still play Packmate Visionary. You could still play Thorn. You could play a bunch more removal. And you could still play uh, these ramp spells if you want. Cannonades coming in. Maybe I just want all my edicts and just all my removal and just try to hold them down. It's kind of weird, but I think I actually want to go this route. Let's go with thorns coming out. I don't think I need all these lamp pads. 
a ranger can come out. Witchstalker doesn't even do that much in this, like, it's just like a 4-4 body isn't going to be that great. I'm just going to basically have to candidate them. I think I'm supposed to keep this hand. It's not great, but I can at least function. I have to just draw a candidate. Oh, no. No, I just passed the turn. <laughs> That's a uh, justice for how this league's going. God, I haven't done that for a while. All right, we'll try to fight back. I just passed my first turn. Just let them draw a card on the play. Brutal. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. And we passed our the turn, so it's just gonna be rough. Gonna get my red source. They have a counter? Negate? They're gonna negate this? Just ultra punished. <laughs> now they can like maybe play a distant melody or something here. I can't believe they negated that. Lead the stampede. At least I don't need to just like fight back and like one for this league. I think this deck is reasonable, but yeah, this is a quick 03 here. I think it needs to be built differently. I don't know if we can go for this like cat package. I think you can win some matchups, but this matchup's not good. We can beat the blue decks. We can't beat walls. Elves is obviously going to be tough. Um, Yeah, the other mid-range decks I think we can beat. Any deck that's playing like Edict Effects, this deck should be good against. I think we also haven't drawn that well. I'm on a string of pretty bad leagues here, so. I mean, now even if I draw Cannonade, I can't cast it, so. All right, all right, all right, we're dead. Two Gs. They have 13 cards in hand. There was Cannonade, but yeah, couldn't cast it. Passed the turn on turn one. Not sure if it mattered. Probably didn't. Didn't win a game. I'm going to drop. Thanks for watching. My name is Max. This is YouTube.com slash Snapbolt. We gave food a try. Oh, man. Could not win a game. The first game showcased, I think, more what I was trying to do with the deck. And then Sacred Devil just came out a little too fast out of the gates. We were almost able to stabilize. We actually had like a chance to win both those games. But yeah, I think I just need more removal. I think the cats like just aren't quite cutting it. It's just not quite good enough of a late game. Like in the blue-red match, if I had just been like a Jund style deck, I would have uh, been fine there. Let me show you actually what, what I'm thinking. I haven't actually built it yet, but um, I can like just do that real quick. You can, if uh, if this interests you, you can see a little process of my building, like how I build decks. So I built this food deck and I'm like, yeah, maybe it's better to build the other way. So I just make a copy of the deck and uh, let's go from here. So we're just cutting like the cats, the rangers, the lamp pads, just doesn't really work. Um, we can even potentially go up to 4-4. Four, four. I don't know if we will need to. Thorn is actually good. Witchstalker can be cut. Add a dino. And then boarding party here. Add a 4. Let's get some more edicts in the main. Some more cast downs. And then, I mean, this is already looking a lot better. We can even just play Cannonade in the main in this deck. Like two maybe, and then add one to sideboard, and then uh, yeah, we can play a rot farm. We probably need to play a little bit different of a mana base because we have all these black removal spells we want to play. I don't know if we need lightning bolt in this deck. Yeah, we might want some more lands. Maybe uh, maybe seven 
rampant growth effects is enough and 22 lands is actually good. And I don't know if I need, maybe I don't need Rot Farm. I don't know if I need Ash Barons. It's not bad. I could play like two Ash Barons. And then play a uh, Swamp and a Mountain. That might not be, that might be too many tap land. Actually, I don't want to play Swamp and Mountain because of Gingerbread Cabin. So I actually just don't want, I, I, I totally just fucked up there. Just do not want those. 22 lands, I might not even need it. Especially I could just go like full ramp and then go like 20 lands. Yeah, this is basically how I, how I build decks. I mean, this already looks better to me. I mean, we could even just play the full four Chainers Edicts. I think they're good in the meta right now. And when we, if we have so much ramp, just being able to Edict them over and over seems pretty good. I will say, I still think this seems worse to me than... Uh, oh, I also don't need this many Highland Forests, potentially. Could just be like three or two even. Because I can search them out. Then I have less tap lands. Maybe just three. Might be better to have four, but yeah, I, I want a good number of untapped lands. I mean, this looks pretty reasonable to me. Just like having Gingerbread Cabin to turn your Rampart Growths into life in the late game seems okay. And then you get to play a lot of untapped lands. If you've seen my channel, you can go check it out. On uh, I played this deck. Here, let me save this. This actually looks reasonable. I don't know if I'll play it because of this fact. I have this brew, which I played, which I think is actually good. And I should probably just be playing this if I want to play this style of deck. I can work on this deck a little bit as well. But um, this is Tribal Flames Cascade. I played it recently on my channel. Um, I think this deck is actually good. And I saw somebody else play a similar list. It was actually pretty funny. I don't know their name. Um, it's like Asian writing that I can't read. I think it's Japanese. Um, and they played a similar Tribal Flames, uh, like Into the North Farseek deck to a 5 0 finish. They had four Mole Drifters, they did not have Lanoir Visionary, um, they had Scred, and they had a different mana base. They had just like uh, not as many tap lands, which I think I want to go down on here. And uh, yeah, again, they were playing four Scred, they were playing Brainstorm, which actually seems pretty sick. Because uh, Brainstorm, you can use these as shuffle effects, which seems pretty good. So I think I would rather work on this deck. I think this is just a better version of the food deck. And I don't think you need necessarily the Gingerbread Cabins. Um, the other version is decent. You get a lot of untapped lands. It looks cool, but I think Tribal Flames is actually pretty good. So I think I'm going to play this deck some more in the future rather than playing the... Uh, Jun gingerbread cabin Jun food deck but gingerbread cabin i don't think we got to see its full potential i think that deck is reasonable if you like the deck jam it tell me how you do i think you can put up some reasonable results i would not be surprised like three tooling leagues even a four one the deck does have bad matchups like how can you beat walls or elves with the food deck like they just go so much over the top and so wide like if you don't have cannonade you're just done which is why i had them in the sideboard but Anyways, my channel, again, youtube.com slash natbolt. Check it out. Tons of popper on there. And I'll see you next time. Peace.